This is Timothy Malcolm with a record news watch update. At around 11 p.m. Sunday night, a water main break was reported in Goshen at Scotchtown Avenue. Goshen DPW reported that a handful of houses and two schools were initially affected by the break, which had leaked approximately 60,000 gallons of water. The school was shut down Monday, uh, first at the elementary school, then at the high school, but it was shut down across the district. The leak was fixed by late Monday morning. A second major leak in the week, the last one was, of course, last week in Kingston that affected both the city of Kingston and town of Ulster. SUNY Orange is named finalist for its president's search. Dr. Edwin Knox recently of Essex County College in Newark, New Jersey. Dr. Matthew Reed of Holyoke Community College in Massachusetts. And Dr. Christine Young of Parkland College in Illinois will be coming to Middletown for interviews over the next two weeks. Open public meetings have been scheduled, so you can meet the candidates yourselves. Find out more on them at recordonline.com. A 23-year-old Warsing man faces charges of soliciting sex from a juvenile. Charles Haight is accused of having an online relationship with an underage girl. He allegedly groped the girl. The mother of the victim stepped in and informed police before a planned sexual encounter could take place. Haight faces first degree disseminating indecent material to a minor, plus endangering the welfare of a child and forcible touching charges. Well, with the cold weather freezing up your pipes, we have some tips to ensure you don't face a serious issue in your home. Visit recordonline.com right now for tips on how to keep your pipes free of ice and what to do if your pipes freeze and your water supply is compromised. That cold weather does continue tonight. We still have some bitter cold highs below zero tonight. Wind chills can make it feel like negative 10 or worse. Maybe a light snow tomorrow um, into the overnight hours. But nothing there to report. It'll be very light. Highs in the mid-teens. Get more of your news and information from the Hudson Valley Catskills at recordonline.com throughout the day. Pick up your time-sale record tomorrow for much more. For Record News Watch, I'm Timothy Malcolm.